I figured it would be a really good time right before I head out on my run to sit and chat with you guys a little bit more about some metrics that we can monitor, especially to kind of keep track of our health. And you know what? They're not that hard to do. John in his last post talked about heart rate and kind of how heart rate responds to exercise and should respond to exercise, as well as respiratory rate. And this week I'm tackling resting heart rate and also our heart rate recovery. Two really important factors when it comes to not only monitoring our health status, but also looking at our risk for cardiovascular disease and also unfortunate things such as mortality due to co uh, cardiovascular disease. So if we start with our resting heart rate, most people probably have heard of this before, but basically what it is, is it is our heart rate at rest. And when I say at rest, I mean really, you know, when you are calm, when you're not doing much, um, it's when our heart is truly at its rested state. And the most important time or the best time that we found to measure this and kind of science has found to measure this is first thing in the morning, as soon as you wake up, okay, or be or, or throughout the night while you're sleeping, all right? So how do I measure mine? My lovely Garmin does it for me throughout the night. And then in the morning, if I didn't have a Garmin, as soon as I would sit up in bed, or maybe even while I'm lying down, I would go ahead, take my pulse, and check to see what my pulse is then. Really, throughout the day, I sit at about a 62 on average for my resting heart rate. Now, in the morning, as soon as I wake up, I can be as low as a 43 sometimes. And that's just a great indicator of your overall health and wellness. Now, to think about this, okay, resting heart rate is normal, technically considered normal, between 60 and 100 beats per minute. Now, for some, such as myself, it's on the lower end, um, and I can see 43 and 44, and I'm okay, I'm physically okay. For some people, if you go to a physician, they may have you get checked out with a low resting heart rate. Um, but really, some things to monitor, okay? If you go ahead and have your heart rate go above 100 beats per minute regularly, then I recommend possibly going and seeing a physician, getting that checked out. Randomized spikes in your heart rate under non-strenuous circumstances, okay? If you're not stressed, if something's not occurring, if randomly you see spikes in your heart rate, pay attention to that. And here's a kicker, especially in these times of COVID where we're all nervous about being sick, okay? If you notice your heart rate uh, your resting heart rate is increasing, okay? And it is increased exponentially. Um, it is something that doesn't typically happen. It's a new thing for you. That's not normal. And believe it or not, one thing we see, and this has been studied many times from many people, is that if you have something like a fever, okay, your heart rate will increase basically a certain number all right, so this was a study done in Celsius, but say you had a one degree Celsius increase in your temperature, your resting heart rate is going to increase, believe it or not, by about eight beats per minute. That's a good change. So it's something to think about and monitor, especially if you're not feeling well. One other thing, or a few other things we should say, of course, stress is always a factor when it comes to resting heart rate. Um, lack of sleep, is a factor when it comes to resting heart rate and overtraining. Sometimes if you're overtraining, you will see a trend up in your resting heart rate, which isn't necessarily a good thing. So maybe it's time to slow down a little bit. So that's a little bit on resting heart rate. Now, if we moved into, and we now talk about heart rate recovery, this is just as important. And it's one of those things that's actually a great predictor of cardiovascular fitness and cardiovascular health across many spectrums. And there's a lot of research out there done in individuals who have cardiovascular disease, who have things such as diabetes, and also just across healthy individuals and those of, you know, different sexes, so males and females. And according to that, we can really have a good prediction of our overall cardiovascular health along and throughout our lifespan, as well as in the short term. So some things to think about with heart rate recovery. So what is it? It's basically how fast your heart rate comes down, okay? Returns to a closer to normal resting heart rate after you stop exercising. So I'm gonna go out my run, I'm gonna get my heart rate up. My heart rate recovery is going to be how fast my heart rate comes back down. 
and typically it's measured minute one, minute two, and minute three after exercise. Now, for a normal, healthy human being, the faster that our heart rate comes back down, the better. The norm for the first minute after exercise in a healthy human is between 15 and 20 beats per minute. Okay, our heart rate is to come down. And of course, at the second and third minutes, it should continue to lower. Now, for somebody who may be ill or for somebody who may have cardiovascular disease, if your heart rate or your heart rate recovery does not improve, okay, it does not decrease by at least 12 beats per minute, then I recommend going and seeing a cardiovascular um, doctor uh, and also kind of just following up, having an exam, check out with your primary, have some testing done because we want to make sure that you're going to be here with us for a long time and not a short time. Um, it is a good indicator if you may have an adverse cardiovascular event. Okay. So when I say cardiovascular doctor, cardiologist, obviously. Okay. Some of the other things is that if you're an extreme athlete, okay, typically we're going to see heart rate recovery of a little bit quicker times. So we may see upwards of 25 beats per minute and then continue to increase as they sit and recover. As a general rule of thumb, the, the faster the recovery, so say 25 beats per minute, 30 beats per minute within the first minute, two minutes, um, that's better for you. And that's going to indicate a better overall kind of thought process and overall um, idea in regards to your cardiovascular fitness. Now, some things to note with this, once again, as with our resting heart rate, our heart rate or anything, if we're stressed, if we're taking medications, um, if we're using nicotine, if we're not sleeping enough, if we're starting to notice that we're not feeling well, our heart rate recovery can be impacted. Heart rate recovery as well as our resting heart rate are indicators of how fit our cardiovascular system is. And if we're noticing changes, it may be time to look at and address. Now, think about this. If we can sit and monitor these two things and they're great indicators of our cardiovascular health, why are we not doing it? Especially with technology such as wearables, whether it's a Fitbit, whether it's Garmin, whether it's Sunto, whether it's Polar, there's so many different things that we can use to monitor this. And really, we can just sit with a stopwatch and take our pulse in the morning. So guys, I hope this gives you a little bit more insight into two more variables that you can use to monitor your health, especially during these trying times. We're all nervous, we're all anxious. Obviously being anxious can increase our heart rate, but try to monitor your resting heart rate first thing in the morning before your caffeine fix. I love caffeine, most of you know that. Um, but also for your heart rate recovery, make sure you check that out too, because it's an important thing to monitor just for your overall health. So I hope everybody's healthy and safe. These are just a few tidbits regarding these topics. If you have any more questions, as always, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'll be talking a little bit more in the upcoming weeks about more things that you can measure using a fitness tracker or just by yourself to kind of keep track of your health. All right, guys, have a great day.